you doing? All right, mate. How's you? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. Fine, sunny day. Can I help you at all? No, just doing a bit of video, and that's all. Uh, anything in particular you want to see? Oh, what can you show me? Is there anything you show me? Uh, Give me a little look around. What would you like to see? Hello and welcome, this is BP and uh, this time we're in Castleford at Malcolm Logistics. Uh, just before we get into telling you a little bit about them, uh, just want to say thank you again for all the support on the channel. We're at uh, nearly 7,900, so we're just short of 8,000 subs now. Don't forget, I'm heading for that 10,000 subs when we get there. I'll be giving £100 away to one of you commenters. So keep watching, keep subbing if you're not already subbed. There's a chance you could win £100 if you get me to 10,000 subs. Anyway, uh, here we are. So we're in uh, Casford here looking at this uh, Malcolm Logistics. So let me just tell you a little bit about what these guys do. So originating as a family-owned business in the 1920s, the Malcolm Group has become one of the leading providers of logistics, construction and maintenance services in the UK. Now, I've not heard of them before, really, but it's not a massive unit, but it uh, says they are one of the leading providers, but don't they all say that? So it, the Malcolm Group began with assets of just a single horse and cart, a small family-run enterprise. Its operation involved collecting coal from the nearby railway station, filling individual sacks in preparation for door-to-door -door deliveries in around the local area. Yeah, so uh, they started by just horse awesome and cart collecting coal, and now look at them. So they've got loads of lorries uh, coming in and out of this here. There does seem to be a lot of lorries all lined up at this point here, so I don't know what's going on there, whether they've kind of, what time is it now? It's 9.30, so whether the, uh, they maybe say we don't start taking anybody until after 9.30, 10 o'clock. There is like a, a gatehouse, and that lorry's been sat there at the gate for quite a while. Let me just cross over safely. Yep. So this is a this is a public road, We've got lampposts, got uh, yellow lines, you know, so a public footpath, footpath, footpath goes down to here, so you can cross over. So what can we see? Let's have a look. So uh, 24 hour security by Secure Group, it says there. Oh, that's uh, barriers going up now. So that one's that one's being allowed in. I don't know, I think somebody may be washing one there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So it looks like there is a, a gatehouse or something here. So there, there is a little window there, so that I think is that security gatehouse. Oh, looking for drivers look, so interested in a career here. There's, uh, there's the information, the contact information. Yeah, interesting, this says uh, Malcolm Group Wakefield, but uh, definitely in Castlehood, because that's the address of where we are now. So that was that guy, yeah, so it's like a, it's like a little jet wash for vehicles. You don't often see that, do you, really? Tons of pallets, look. So we've got all the loads of check pallets. Don't know if we can see anything down the sides. But I'm not sure we can. Now we can't see anything down the side there, so... There's a few wagons backed in there now. We're all getting loaded up, I'm assuming. It seems like a... It's a looks kind of officey on the first floor because there's loads of windows there's the uh, there's a warning site um, what you need to wear to get in the site there usual sort of stuff I'm not sure if we can get down the side let's have a look it has a there's a little road down here so oh this is so this is the I think this is the staff car park so this will be, uh, so it's car entrance only, so I'm sure this will be the staff and visitors car park in here. Yeah, because it, uh, it is all fenced off as well, so it's all fenced off for security. Uh, definitely visitors, because it says something about visitors in there. It's got reverse parking, which is good, like that, it's a little bit safer. Can't see any pedestrian walkways at this point, but 
you would normally walk up to this gate here disable parking there's a couple of uh, bays there can't see any electric charging so there's no electric charging let's have a look here so yeah so they've got a, a defib on site it's a no smoking site and we've got the high vis etc so as usual what must be worn when you're actually working on this site let's have a look through the fence see what we can see So we can see over there, let's get the other camera out and then we'll just get a little bit of a better view. Right, so what can we see here? Got a sun above us here. This vehicle sat over there, so this is like, oh, is that some sort of a loading? Why would they have a, like a loading place over there? Or is that some sort of maintenance? We've got some maintenance where they can't actually fix all the wagons. Because what we do get, we've got all the, all the vehicles lined up down here and there is some loading bays, I think these not sure if they're all against the loading bays. Well, there is a door open in the corner here. I don't think we're not going to be able to see anything, unfortunately, in there, I don't think. It's a tiny little door, isn't it? Looking at, I don't know what we're looking at there. Some sort of conveyor belt. Usually they'll have the loading cages, so these vehicles will back up the trailers to the point here and then just use the loading cages. As I say, I think this is offices here. Yeah, because that looks like uh, an office entrance over there. <clears throat> and somebody's calling. Hello. Hi. You alright? How you doing? Alright mate, how's you? I'm alright mate, alright. It's right. a fine sunny day. Can I help you at all? No, just doing a bit of video on that, that's all. Uh, anything in particular you want to see? Oh, what can you show me? Is there anything you show me? Uh, Give me a little look around. What would you like to see? And it's just inside, looks to see inside what goes on really in a place like this. So it's just for a vlog that I do. So okay. I just uh, video it and put it on social media. So just come round to the gate. Now, Fantastic, right brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So you never see, you see these big buildings, but you never get to see inside them. So it's you know, I just like to see inside really, see what goes on in there. Your name, sir? It's Bill, call me Bill. Okay. Yep. I'll take it your blogs regarding trucks and... Yeah, industrial sites uh, really, so yeah, any sort of businesses and stuff like that. Are you one of these online guys with Ooh. your camera, is that again? No, it's on. That's it, got it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, so you're just... The, you're not the auditor guy they talk about, are you? Oh, there's loads of them, they? <laughs> No, no, it's not, not I, I just, it's visit. I mean, people call it auditing, but it's, it's a visit. I'm not here to, you know, uh, sort, of, sort of put your company down to detriment. But that's up to you, really. I mean, some people do come out and go a bit funny about it, but... No, no, There's no, nothing to be scared of in the man with the camera, really, so... What is it you're wanting to see? Trucks, trailers? Give me an idea exactly what... I'd love to see inside there, see what the what logistics on, there goes on in there. So how will they get loaded and stuff like that, if that's possible, okay, so... Come with me. Right, me magic. Just wait here for two minutes, will you? No problem, thank you. Load strapping security. Every pallet must be strapped. So obviously the weight on these is going to slip if you go around the corner. So we're saying you need to strap every single one like that. I think I'll do it. I'll just get my Ivy's vest out. Turn this off until he comes back. <laughs> uh, right, we're not allowed in the warehouse. They're okay. asking obviously what your vlog's about, where you're from, etc. etc. They're obviously asking a lot of questions as to why you want to be here. Okay, me, yeah. Which um, I'm sure you get all the time. Yeah, 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 you do, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just industrial states. So, I mean, you, you get some people go around police stations, stuff like that. I do industrial states. So, I just got anything. I'm going to go to Arabo, Arabo next. I came in a couple of weeks ago and I was doing a couple further down, can't remember which one, but it, it poured down. And so I had to go on because you would have been the next one on my list. So, <laughs> so I've come back today to carry on. And uh, yeah, basically, it's that. It's just uh, anything to do with industrial. So, and I've got a, I've got a drone as well. So I get some aerial shots at the end. So also I will send that over, and uh, just put all that together and just make just like a little twenty minute sort of blog about the place, really. So, yeah, that's listen. Uh, they obviously don't want me taking you anywhere sense. They're all quite happy mm -hmm. if you can stand out here and video. That's absolutely fine. I've got okay. no objection. Obviously, for customer. 
There's customers goods in there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Which they've said obviously the data protection, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, we can't have you in there. Understood. Understood. Uh, yeah. That, that's what usually happens. Yeah. That's understood. Uh, but it's worth asking because sometimes yeah, yeah come in, not come there. You know. I mean, obviously, mm. I don't know. I've seen the videos online, etc., etc. Yeah. So I kind of have an idea of what things are. But, okay. Yeah. Uh, I've obviously got bosses as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, it's good that you invite me in. So, so just a little bit of info about what you do here. What, what part of the business is this? Because you do construction and maintenance and stuff. Is this it? is obviously logistics, so construction is right. a different side and stuff. Okay. Um, so it will be a construction site then? Would, would that be like heavy lifting equipment and stuff like that? You move that stuff around? Is yeah, that... we move all that. We do right. lots of different. Obviously, have you, have you been on the website at all? Yeah, just when you yeah, yeah. I go on there, so do a little a, talk. It tells yeah. you a lot more about obviously what we yes. do as a company here. Yeah. So we run certain contracts out of the warehouse here for certain customers. And right, it's okay. In case of transportation stuff in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're obviously quite a big company, so we yep. do a lot of uh, commenting. So how big are you? How many? How many? Oh, yeah, big, yeah, big. yeah, yeah. Cheers. I'll stand over here. Yeah, we better, won't it? Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's roughly 1,500 employees throughout the business. Oh, okay, yep. Uh, so how many units like this have you got then around the country? As in bases? Yes. Uh, yeah. There's eight or nine, I think it is. Oh, okay, right. Uh, so yeah, all do different contracts, etc., etc., within the warehousing operation. Are you UK based or? Yes. Yeah. yeah fully UK, UK based. based. Right. Yeah, fully UK based. European at all? No. no. So everything is delivered in UK. So everything's all, yeah. in the UK. Yeah. Uh, right. We do contain exporting containers, but that's for a customer. So okay. we don't. Right. We don't take anything to do with that. Literally, just take them to the dock and get rid of them from there. Yeah. 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 Uh, so using places like this, all, all, all the uh, cages are all ready to be loaded on and the vehicles come in early in the morning disappeared. So is it, is it, what, what, sorry. So what, what time, will, will all this be cleared, all these trailers will have gone within like a few hours or something? Uh, it depends what's on them, but they'll come in depending on what product's on them and then they'll either move if it's a customer delivery for tomorrow or move right. tomorrow. So it okay. depends where it's loaded from and what's on it uh, as to actually when it moves. But there's a good... You'll see, obviously, if you've, if you've looked before, there's a good rotation mm. of trailers in and out. Right. Uh, so your customers, they go from their massive depot to drop off the stuff here, and then you shift it to the small satellite sites around. That's exactly it, yeah. yeah. Depending yeah. on where it's, some of it's for Scotland, some of it's for London. Oh, you've got Scotland as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, head offices in Scotland, so... Ah, okay. We have a lot of customers I thought you said Liverpool on the website. There's something in Liverpool then. There's a head office in Liverpool? Uh, Haydock. Haydock. We've got a place over in Haydock. Right. So how far, how far south do you go? Do you go right down Southampton? Uh, Harlow, as far as Harlow. Right, okay. All oh, right, so it's full, full country. Right? Do you go across yeah. to Ireland or so? Uh, no. Right, no. okay. So it's just on the mainland. Just main, pretty mm. much mainland UK. Mm. Uh, depending on what the customers require, so we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll do what we need to do. Yeah, no, it's, it's interesting stuff, yeah. So, so what is... Talk me through what's behind that wall then. Is it a lot of conveyor belts or is it a lot, uh, a lot no, of... No, it's uh, palletised goods. Oh, it's all right. Palletized. So, uh, are you got all pallet shifted or is it forklift trucks in there? Forklifts. Right, so it's all forklifts. So, can, can they drive in the back of the wagons in the forklifts? Uh, on these bays, yes, they can, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then from there, we obviously do ah. side loading. Ah, right, uh, ah, right yeah, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you've got the back door loading yes. there, sides there. Yeah, but they could be side as well if need be. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Wow. Looks like, yeah, pretty tough. So, it's like a full, because forklifts quite heavy, aren't they? So. Yeah. So could he could he load with the forklift when the cab's attached, or can he only yep. do it when no, he's? No, he can. Oh, he can, can do, do it. Yeah, yeah. There's right. obviously safety protocols that they have to obey and stuff. Where so it is a bit different rather than being yeah. stood on the uh, yeah. the feet so that they've got. Yeah, the keys out. They've got green and red lights on there, so it's right. on a red light. Obviously, the driver knows not to move, but he'll have to hand his keys in and stuff for health and safety. So to turn on the green light, the keys have to be handed in and yep, the, hooked the on the left a... driver on the other side. Once he's got the keys and everything yep. else, it will. Be... So he control that light yeah, then, yeah. He'll so. control that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the driver obviously can't do anything, so there's no. Can he? Can he still go in his cab and mess around, or is it? Is he, he not allowed? He can sit in his cab. Yes. <laughs> right. He's allowed to sit in his cab, but obviously because yeah. he's got. He might have a spare set of keys, or. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Not. Not yeah. Uh, they're not locked in the office for emergencies yeah, yeah. only. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting stuff. So what's, what's that? Is that fuel in or what's Yeah, that? fuel yep. pumps, yeah. Right, okay. So I noticed there was a guy cleaning as well, so you got like a cleaning bay yeah, down there. Yeah, uh, the washing here. Oh, yes, yep. Yeah. Ah, brilliant, yeah. Yeah, that's a full wash. So what happens, so all these Czech pallets, because they're, they're owned by the Czech company, they're all supposed to be sent back, are they? So, uh, yes. So what happens with them? Are you waiting for somebody to come and collect them? Because everywhere I go, every site they've got, they've got a big mass of Czech pallets stacked there. They're used for certain contracts, so we have some on site, not a massive amount. 
Uh, but, but you don't pallet stuff up though, don't, doesn't it, does it not come from your customers palleted already? Uh, some of it does, yeah, some of it will need re restacked as well, right. so we always have, and depending on what the product is, the, you have to use those pallets for other things as well, right. which the customer's aware of. So are you keeping these for that eventuality then? Yes. Yeah, you're not waiting for Chep to come and take no, them back no, or anything? No, right, right. No, 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 right. No, no, no. Oh, uh, I see hundreds of them. Yeah, they, they tend to leave them on site for customer requirements. And right, they need right, that explains it then. Cause, yeah, a lot of the, the companies that go to they have a lot of Chep pallets and then people come on my video and say, oh, they shouldn't have them Chep, they should be sent back to Chep and all this lot. So that's the reason you keep them in case yeah. you need to repallet stuff. Good, so that might uh, stop a lot of my commenters <laughs> winding about the Chep pallets in your yard. Yeah. Which you'll always get, so yeah. So he's got a sign on that one saying shot load, what's that mean? Uh, it means there's a problem with the load. Uh, oh, all right. I'm not sure the exact problem. With okay, load, all right. There is a problem with it, so. Oh, that's so that's waiting to be sorted? Yes. So what are these ones parked here then, waiting for some beers to be uh, the free? The swapping trailers to go to next customer deliveries. Mm, excellent, yeah. So I noticed that over there, is that like a repair beer or something? Workshops, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought so, back it in then. So you actually do maintain all your, all these vehicles are basically based out of here then? Majority of them, yeah. Mm. Majority of them, yeah. So in that car park then, is that some of the driver's cars? Yes. So, right, okay. So Because I thought it looks like offices up there as well, isn't they? So. Yeah, there's offices there mm. as well for certain uh, yeah. contract customers. Excellent. Stuff. That's absolutely fantastic. It's been great. So yeah, so I'll go out there, I'll do a bit of aerial there. Uh, so you will see, it'll be like 20, 30 meters. It won't affect anybody. Let's have a little zip around the yard from above and uh, finish the video off. Great. Uh, what was your name, sorry? It's Ian. Oh, Ian. Great to meet you. That's, that's been fantastic. I think we help where we can. Yeah, absolutely. Are you ready when you are? We're that way then, yeah. Right, so, yeah. So, the, so the chat. Oh, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers, Ian. Thanks. Excellent. And again, I've got to say there, people, that is how it should be done. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, obviously, we couldn't go into the actual uh, factory units, but... You know, we stood in the yard and he, uh, he had a little talk around what's going on, so that's nearly as good as. So let's get out here and we'll get on the public area over there and we'll get the drone footage and see what it looks like higher up. Let's go fly a drone. Okay, so um, I'm just going to bring the control a bit nearer because uh, somebody said, I don't know what your drone said when it talks to you, but what it's going to say is that you're going to be cleared for takeoff when it gets its GPS. So um, it won't take off very high until it's got a full GPS signal. Here we go. So that said, the low point has been updated. Please check it on that on the map. That means my drone has now got GPS and it's now able to take off. So check on drone assist. You can see there there is no flight restrictions in this area. So uh, let's go. The low point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Right, so uh, let's have a look. We saw most of it from inside, but uh, yeah, let's see what we can see from the outside. So we'll start here. So this is the uh, visitor's car park and, well, employee's car park, he said. So some of these cars are the employees as well. So they all park the cars in here when they come to work. And then this is the building. So what we'll do, just go a little bit high, just so we're well above it. So I'm higher than anything else around me, which is good. So we have a few tractor units, uh, when I was in there, there was pedestrian safety I noticed on the actual path, so yeah, that's fine. So here is all the uh, trailers getting loaded, as you said, they could use a forklift, a little bit higher. So on these bays here, as he said, this is uh, where they can do the forklift loading, that was interesting. So a forklift can drive right back into the trailer and load those up and it's all palleted in this place so they don't have the cages it's all done with pallets and he said this place here so this is the maintenance so here they'll be repairing the vehicles so obviously one in there now Down here were some uh, extra trailers waiting for a cab to come and pick them up and pull them across uh, to be loaded up. Another one just coming out there now, look. He's going to go past me, you'll hear him go past me. I'm stood there. Hey, hey. 
<laughs> so I'd like to say what a great company this is. I'm well impressed. Okay, so let's have a quick look here because we saw that vehicle wash as well. So there's a pedestrian footpath. Look, you see that guy, he's on, his, on the footpath there. So definitely uh, nice and safe. They have lots of walkways for pedestrians. And then, uh, yep, we saw the pallets here, but he did explain to me that these pallets, oops, he did explain to me these pallets are there for a reason, in case you have to repallet anything. So that was the uh, vehicle wash there. And this is the main gate. And that's it, so, quick look around there. What I didn't see was any recycle bins. Oh, actually, Oh, look at the unit, I didn't realize it was that big. Been concentrating on the yard there, look how sad the size of the unit. Wow, that is massive. I'll just see if there's anything down this side here. No, so I think it is mainly what we can see. There'll be nothing around the back either, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, so there's nothing there, so that with the solar panels there is next door, that in this unit, so we've got no solar panels here. So what we'll do, we'll get up a little bit higher, we'll get into the middle and we'll do a 360. And that's it, right, let's get in the position where we get the whole place in one shot. Right, let's get the drone back and let's close this one up. So there we go, that was Malcolm Logistics here in uh, Castleford. And very, 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 very special thanks to Ian for letting me come in there and tell me a little bit about that business. So that's the end of this one, let's move on to the next one after giving it a score.